Hey, good morning. It's uh, 8 April. It's about 7 past 6. That's what I just walked down to get here. We got a lot of big rocks here. I'm at uh, Bang Niang Beach in Kaolak, Panga Island. An area that was devastated 10 years ago by the tsunami on December 26th. That's why all the big rocks. Anyhow, I'm here for three weeks and we'll see how the hunting goes. It's supposed to be low tide. Somebody lied. I checked the uh, time meteorological, I checked surf reports. I got a smarter than me phone and got a couple of apps. They all said 5.50, 6 o'clock, low tide. If this is low, I'm in trouble. Anyhow, I came down here about a half hour ago and my blue XCAL 1000 battery died. I charged it about a week ago. So anyhow, I hiked back and I got uh, old, old Faithful. I got Lazarus. He's been brought back from the dead. New, uh, new works, new board, new, uh, new knobs, new Grey Ghost amphibian headphones. And we already got one broken now. Thank you, Air Asia. I had it wrapped in bubble wrap with t-shirts and a couple towels. I still managed to break it. Anyhow, I'm going to do a little bit of wet sand hunting. That seems like all we got is wet sand. And we'll see how she goes. And we'll check you out later. Okay, it's about uh, 6.40. I'm working my way uh, south. Not that way. And there is a patch here of uh, dry sand. Some beach umbrellas. Volleyball net. And uh, the other guy on the beach with me. That's all I've seen so far is one person. And yeah, that wet sand uh, slopes down quite a bit. And so far we have... Voila, one coin. Got about 15 or so targets, but the other 14 were crap. Didn't even bother digging them. This one gave a good, nice, uh, high-pitched tone, so we dug it. So Lazarus is working uh, just fine. I like the Grey Ghost Amphibian headphones. They're nice and comfy. And the weather here has been accommodating. But see, I'm on the uh, sunset side of the island, or the area, not really an island. So, we won't see sun until probably 9, 10 o'clock. Got to get past mountains and trees and what have you. And then, uh, then it'll warm up. It's, it's a bit humid, but it's not too bad. So anyhow, I'm going to take a vape and water break and uh, continue hunting. And uh, low tide stuff. Uh, it might be low tide. You know, I'm looking at where the dry and the wet meet. It's a good uh, 40, 50 feet to the water. So that might be it. But uh, we'll have to track things for a couple of days and see uh, who's telling the truth. All right, so after the break, we'll get back to the hunt. We'll check you out later. All right, it's about uh, 10 past 7. And uh, it is low tide. It just... Where I started down this way, the way that wall and rocks and all that is, real close to where the shore break is. You just can't tell. I worked my way further south, and about where I'm sitting is high tide. And then all this down to the water is a pretty steep slope. But that's what I've been playing in, and not having much luck, just that one coin. But today is just to uh, get a feel for the beach and see what's where and what to do and where to start. And we'll see if we uh, get out into the water. It's a bit, uh, a bit choppy out there. Not too bad, but I got too much electronics with right now. So I'm going to work my way back north and uh, see what's down that way. And it should be hunting for about two hours. Go to about 9 o'clock and then uh, get chow. I will check you later. Alrighty, it's about uh, 7.45. I'm just a little bit north of where I started. You can see this is uh, another narrow part of the beach here. 
This is why I thought it wasn't low tide, but uh, it is. Water must be uh, up here in the rocks during normal and high tide. Anyhow, uh, picking's real slim. Just that one coin so far and some trash. We're going to give it another go for another hour. I'm going to work my way down to the next rock outcropping and work my way back and call it a day. Sun's come up, just breaking through. Lovely day, getting hotter. That's all right. The room is air conditioned and I can always jump in the swimming pool. Alrighty, we'll check you out. Alrighty, it's uh, just past eight. I've worked my way down to this uh, outcropping wall kind of thing. I do believe I can get around it. It's just I'm a bit concerned about getting back if the tide comes in. So I'm just going to uh, play it safe today and see what the tide does, how long it takes to come back in. And like I said earlier, get a feel for the beach. Pickens are still uh, few and far between. As far as uh, diggable targets, I think I've had four. You know, so it's, uh, I don't know. But we're going to do a little bit more. we have about another hour. Work my way back slowly and uh, chill out for the rest of the day. It's amazing. I've seen like two kids and four adults total. A couple jogging, a couple swimming. This is high season. We're an hour and a half uh, north of Phuket. It's all beach and resorts here. There's nobody here. So don't believe that bullshit about uh, tourists are flocking back to Thailand. Because they ain't. Alrighty, we'll check you later. Alrighty, back in the room. It's uh, almost 9 o'clock. Time for a sponsor. Mini Mart I went to last night didn't have Gatorade and didn't have M Support. So, so for a sponsor, we'll look more today. Rough day hunting. Looks like 12 baht. Two fives and two ones. I don't know. I got a what's it? That sounded really nice. Oh, yeah, I got my first eating utensil. This one's pretty heavy. You know, standard trash, these little candle things, pull tabs. This one was down about, it had to be a foot and a half. Just kept digging and digging and digging. So anyhow, the nice lady that runs the cow lock, I got this thing here too, runs this uh, place I'm at, cow lock summer house. Boom was uh, more excited to see what I found than, than I was. And she was all tickled pink that I found 12 baht. And I told her, that's only a little bit. She says, eh, there's always tomorrow. So that's my motto for the rest of the trip. There's always tomorrow. So anyhow, I'm going to chill and shower and uh, get some breakfast and uh, relax for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to do it again. Oh, I did do this this time. Since I got stopped at Colipe on the beach without my passport, I had a deal with a, an immigration officer that had a real puffed up chest. So I kind of shrunk my latest visa in the front page of my uh, passport, and at least I got a copy of it with me wherever I go. And if they want it, they can come back to my room and get the original. And of course, now that I'm carrying it, nobody will ask for it. You know, Murphy's Law. So anyhow, that's it for today, first day of the hunt, and uh, we'll check you tomorrow. Good luck and happy hunting.